Good morning and welcome back to Gaming with ADHD because I am wide awake at one o'clock in the morning and uh, so I figure I'm going to experiment with a couple of things and get some painting done and maybe record some videos later. So who knows what we're going to do. Um, but uh all right so new thing uh i figured out that Streamyard has background music available so that maybe it won't sound so awkward if uh if i'm not saying anything so uh please if it's loud annoying awkward weird um let me know um i can adjust the volume, turn it down. We can try different songs. Maybe I'll buy some later on that are like royalty furious. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, nothing really exciting. It's just the middle of the night. And so I'm going to paint some stuff. And I just realized that my camera is not quite set up for it. So let's go ahead and fix that. 100% professional stream here, folks. All right, so... All right, looks like that's all solid. Uh, I wore my uh, St. Patrick's Day green shirt as is tradition and uh, wasn't planning on this. So fun little uh, deal with the green screen there. I know, I'm a dork. Um, let's see. Oh, let's mute that because I'm going to go ahead and turn something on in the background. Okay. Well, and if you can hear my desktop audio, let me know. <laughs> This is a stream full of uh, experimentation, to say the least. Um, anyhow, so this is what we were working on yesterday morning. Deny Lao Centrella, and the wash has now dried, and this looks... This actually is looking way better than I was expecting. This is, this is a gorgeous color with this wash. Just darkened it just right. So anyways, super excited about that. I actually just realized I need to open up Legends. Because I'm going to need some reference. All right. Okay. So I need. All right, so looks like we've got the ERPPC, so that's going to be blue. Um, f 
four medium lasers. So that's going to be there. So those will probably be red. Or actually... No, the, those are probably large lasers. Then we've got two medium lasers. Oh, okay. Got a medium laser there and a medium laser there. All right, so those will be red. The large lasers will be green. And we've got a small pulse laser, which... Uh, I don't know. We'll come up with a different color later. Um, regardless. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Um, and now I need to figure out... Um... Let's use Reaper Golden Yellow. All right. Okay. Oh, this is going to be... There's some kanji on the chest here. That I'm trying to recreate. And I think I might have made it too big.
All right. That's... Not great. That's... Eh. Not... Not very good, but I do not have a lot of room to work with, so I'm just... I'm calling it good. All right. So... So there's a bunch of just yellow trim all around. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all of it. So I'm just going to do... I'm going to do some stuff. We'll see how well it comes out. So this is kind of frustrating because these are super tiny lines in the art. So I'm trying to not make them too large. But 
I think just I'm also not doing all of them. Just get enough to get the idea. Oof. Sorry for not keeping the model in stream. It happens. Thank you. 
This reminds me of a a Jaeger from Pacific Rim. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, I'm going to I'm going to call the yellow good. Overall, I'm just I'm really happy with that. All right, I need to get some. I would normally use my dark gray for the hands, but I've already washed the model, so I'm going to go ahead and just use black. Because also, and I've got enough I can do the base, so. Interesting.
All right. And let's do the Hellboy bases.
Uh, morning, Cliff. <laughs> uh, Atlas? No, that's Chris's Atlas. Um, he's gonna be boring. It's gonna be Clan Wolf Beta Galaxy, or not Clan Wolf Beta Galaxy? Ha! Tricked ya. Uh, he's gonna be uh Wolf's Dragoons. So. Anyhow, um, Cliff, since you're here and you're talking in chat, uh, can you hear the music? Is it too loud? Is it annoying? Uh, can you hear my desktop audio? Just throw it in chat. Let me know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, actually, you're going to want to see this, Cliff. Check that out. Ah! Face not dry. Okay. I'm good with subtle. Well, I'm not I'm not good at subtle, but I'm good with it. Anyways. Deny Lao Centrella. That's the the art that I was going off of. I still need to do the cockpit and the lasers, but but look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this thing came out so good. Oh my gosh, I was very, very happy with this. It was really bright. Like, that's the... Here, I'll refocus. So that's the original color. Dark, uh, army painter dark wash on it. And, oh man... Oh, came out. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Anyways. So, so, so happy. Uh, let's see. Need to let these kind of, kind of dry. Yes. Uh, I used Army Painter Dark Tone. That's like, Dark Tone, Strong Tone, Light Tone. That's like everything that I hit it with. So there's that. Um, let's see here. I need to do a tiny bit more on the Black Knight. But I'm waiting for it to finish drying. Yeah, liquid skill is an understatement. Um, but I, uh, I have no shame. No shame at all. Uh, very happy with it. Uh, no, doing all of the yellow detailing. That, oh, that was, that was a pain. Um, all right. I can do these. Like, I, I need to get more of my Hellboy stuff done. Um, I do, but he doesn't have a base yet. Trust me. Those, oh, trust, those are all going in my list. I have a spreadsheet of stuff to do um so oh um so yeah because like i because i'll you know use the base in the handle so i need something for that um da, 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 da. i was i was a little disappointed uh, this guy, Sentinel, um, that one is, hey, Hungar, good morning. Why are you awake at this hour? Uh, yeah, so this guy, this is going to be Solomon Storm of, uh, 
Cranston Snords are regulars, which would unfortunately has no consistent paint scheme, but it was written by Blaine Pardo. So I reached out to him. Well, uh, so Cranston Snords Irregulars was written by uh, Blaine Pardo. So I reached out to him asking him what color I should paint or it should be painted. And he's like, just do whatever. And it's like, ah, I was hoping you would suggest a paint scheme. But he did not. So, geez, hunger. Watch where you're walking. You know, that's... This is bad. Uh, yes, I know my shirt is part of the background. <laughs> Look, you wear a green shirt on St. Patrick's Day, and and then um, you don't realize you're going to live stream, and so instead you get ha ha. <laughs> Anyhow, so I throw on my my sweatshirt which is a little warm, but it is what it is. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. So anyways, this guy, uh, he's from the Free Worlds League, so I know I'll trim him out with some purple. Yeah, but I don't know what to paint him. So we're going to put him back in the pile. Um, I suppose I could work on this one. That might make Cliff a little happy. I don't do as many nice things for Cliff, but I mean, painting a model that he specifically wanted to see me paint, and you know, I should probably do that. Um. Anyways, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, I'm gonna come back to that. I should do that too. Um. Give me a second. There we go. So that's what I'm going for. For the, uh, the Highlander. Which I mean, Looking at it, I mean, it's mostly done. Oh, the Star League stuff was so disappointing. Um, because it's it's green and gray, like all of it. Uh, too brown. Uh, it's probably just lighting. I don't go for exact. I go for close enough. It's it looks green to me. Looks like a good um What green did I use? I don't even remember. I might have used this. If I used brown violet, that's like the the World War 2 green. Um, it's, I don't know. I like it. Um, it's a bit more subtle. A lot of times, most of my greens end up being a little too bright. Um, you know, I've got a bunch of green cleanup to do on this guy. So I think I'm going to do that. I think this is it. Hmm, maybe not. Use yellow green. US dark green is completely wrong. 
Yeah, it's definitely not coyote brown. I'll show you next time you come over. No, not that. I can't tell. You know what? I'm going to let it dry. Put a little bit on the base. We'll let it dry. And we'll come back to it. So... Ugh, I am not happy with how this yellow is coming out. That looks like horrible. And you know what? I'm going to try this. I hate all of my yellows, like all of them. I'm going to try using this, which I know seems like a horrible idea. I get that. Ah. But my brother-in-law, who is an infinitely better painter than I am, uh, it, I don't blame them. I mean, come on, it's me. Um... But my brother-in-law painted a, a, a whole bunch of Warhammer models in the late 90s, back when I was first getting into it, all with craft paint. It was ridiculous how good they looked. Um, he sent me a picture the other day of those models and it's just like this is this is ridiculous anyways so i'm thinking properly thinned this yellow should work fine and already i'm happy with it so who knows I do have to admit, <laughs> the uh, background music, it's not the greatest music, it's just nice having something. Because I would sit here and I would paint, and not have anything to say. So just having a nice subtle background it's actually kind of helping but I also figured no one would be showing up for this anyways but I mean it says there's two in in two what two people watching the stream so there's that This is going to get a lot of wash as well. But I also need to hit it up with some dark gray. So, if you're still awake, how was your day, sir?
hopefully a little better. Good to hear. I actually slept like six hours straight. I was kind of surprised. Okay. Yeah, dude. Um, you are welcome at my home anytime. You know that. Um, Is she going down like for the weekend or just like for the day? Okay. Um, Well, I don't know our exact schedule. But we're doing corned beef, carrots, and potatoes tomorrow. You let me know if you need me to feed you. Or want me to feed you. Either or. Take your pick. At least I think we're doing it tomorrow. Oof. Hour and a half drive. Well, not with a broken toe. That's for sure. Especially not if you just broke it. That's good. I actually, I mean, maybe it's because I already had some yellow underneath, but I did not mind using this craft paint. I might have thinned the yellow a little too much, but I'm happy with the color. Broke it while you were sleeping? That's, that is rough. I am not excited about getting old. Because <laughs> that seems to occur more and more as, as aging comes on. Oh, uh, 
Not sure if you were here. Okay, do not take this the wrong way, Hungar. But you look like the rough side of 50. I am I am 46. And I assumed you were much older. Wow. Um <laughs> and this is why I've been friends with Cliff for over 30 years. <laughs> Oof. That is rough, Hungar. That is absolutely rough. Um, oh, Hungar. Because I don't think you were here for it. I think I started this yesterday during the stream. But I'm calling... Well, outside of jeweling the lasers, I'm calling this done. And I am super happy about this. Oh my gosh. The color is brighter than I would normally like. But I think it came out great. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I mean, I so I caught you on lead like I, I caught you during Legion of Myth last night, and that was that was a great, great conversation just about you know about playing and leveling you know, role-playing games, it was, it was fun. You guys had a, you guys had a nice, a nice rapport going on. All right, now I'm confused, because that is not, oh, there it is. Russian uniform World War II. I'm gonna let this yellow dry. Ah! And bounce over to the Highlander for a little bit. I would say, another day, you know, Sort of on your feet. You know. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's the color I needed. Alright. Time for cleanup on the Highlander. Oh, that was for the... Wolf spiders. I'm like, I swear I've painted these feet before. But they were a different color and I forgot <laughs> that I did that. Uh, have a good night, Hungar. Get some rest. YouTube says that there is negative one viewer <laughs> watching the stream. That's hilarious. Yeah, if you, uh, I, uh, Hungar, oh, so first off, I absolutely love the name Hungar the Starvarian. You know me. I like, I like good puns. I like bad puns. I like puns. Anyways, uh, this other YouTube channel that I've been watching, Legion of Myth. Um, Hungar. Hungar is a regular over there. Seems to be a good dude. I've caught a couple of streams from his channel. 
Seems like everybody's starting a channel these days. <laughs> uh, I understand Hungar and probably not. No offense. <laughs> I, uh, I have a hard time letting go. Um, As far as the color, I'm going to say the color I need because it's the one that matches what I've already been using. But yeah, it does look like it's got a little bit more brown. I'm okay with that, though. I mean, I will admit, I was sort of annoyed at Legends when all the uh, all the Star League era characters that they mentioned, every single one of them was basically in this paint scheme. It's not bad, but oh my gosh, is it... a little less than inspiring. But I also don't have one in it. So, or... Yeah, I haven't done any of the Star League pilots. So... I'm okay getting one in the group. When I do finally get to that Atlas, though... Those are going to be some fun paint jobs. So, just because there weren't any periphery characters in Legends, I think there's still some named pilots. Like, one of, one of my issues with the... Uh, with the Comstar pack is that all of the pilots on the cards are all Comstar and all of the paint jobs are just Comstar white and I even the uh, the King Crab that I did the other day uh, for 11th Arc Arcturan with the 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 white and black I was just a little a little annoyed because I'd already done a Comstar mech and just again it's just kind of boring so that's why when I found Solomon Storm for the for the Sentinel I was hoping I'd have something, but now I have to come come up with it. Um, you saw the new uh, the new urban mech pack that they're coming out with, right? With all the different weapon systems, and one of them's a big old missile launcher. So no reason it can't be a, uh, a, well, can't be painted to represent as an arrow for. So 
So, hey, hey, good morning, Stephen. Uh, I am up this early because I am a weirdo. And because I actually got like six uninterrupted hours of sleep. And I would introduce you two, but you already know each other. So, you know. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, oh, yeah, well, and I have to show you. Oh my gosh. Dude, Steve, you're going to love this. Let me finish first, though. Um... Oh, no, no, Stephen, this is Cliff. The Cliff. <laughs> in fact, in my life, the only Cliff, I think. Close enough. The only one I remember. Um, all right, so Cliff's already seen this, like, oh, now you're going to get tea? Really? All right, I'll wait for you to come back. Sorry, I'm stupid. I'm super excited over, uh, over the Black Knight. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so I'm calling it done. I still have to do the lasers, but whatever. It's the lasers. But here's the Black Knight. I even did the kanji on her chest, which did not come out great but came out close enough. Uh, but yeah, that that wash, ah, oh, the wash on this is perfect. Hit all of the grooves, hit ah, oh, everything. Absolutely love that. And you are going to absolutely hate me for this because it's Reaper Sample. <laughs> So there's sample colors. They'll make a batch of paint and it'll come out wrong. But instead of throwing it away, they'll throw it in bottles. They'll throw that sample label on it. And then they'll just ship it out with a package. And so you're never going to get it again. You might get close, but you ain't getting it. And uh, 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 oh, talk about frustrating. Um, But, uh... Yeah, so Black Knight's basically done. Uh, here's the witches that I was working on. I think that came out great as well. So, super fun times. Um, let's see here. There we go. Basically, right now is just all clean up on this Highlander because cause his messy. Anyways, but yeah, so ha, ah, Black Knight, basically done. Like I said, just have to do the jeweling, but that just takes a minute, maybe, on a bad day.
Oh, only cliff in my life until that one at the end with the car and screaming children. Oh. <laughs> oh, Cliff. I hope things settle down for you. That was that was very good. Well done, sir. Very proud of you. <laughs> uh, I'm still kind of surprised that my family doesn't wake up to me laughing when I do these. Um, all right. Uh, All right, let's get some dark gray back out. Uh, I have not been able to do that one yet. Um, but I will get it. Pro either, worst case, I will get it done Monday. I was obviously out of town for a couple of days. Um, in fact, at some point, I will have to stop the stream and record a few things, but I'm going to go... As long as I can, try and be a little productive. Um, but then also get a little bit of sleep so that Kim doesn't feel like I've abandoned her tomorrow um which again regardless you are welcome in my home anytime even if it's just because you need to crash on the couch for an hour So, crazy thing is I'm also going to have to figure out a 
good way to do that and that in tartan. Yay! That always makes me a little nervous. All right, let's do... this because he's going to end up being kind of plain. So let's wash this guy. I'm actually going to want a sort of heavy wash. So next Thursday morning, I'm thinking about doing a live stream. I kind of talked with Steve about this already, but Cliff, you are ob absolutely invited to, to this as well if you want. So, Thursday morning, they're going to kick off the Kickstarter at, like, 9. And so I just figured we'd kind of do, or I would do, like, kind of a watch party, you know. Um, talk Battletech, anyone that wants to come on and talk Battletech is welcome. Obviously, anyone out of our group is welcome. And then just kind of check in from time to time as far as, like, how the totals are going, what kind of stretch goals get unlocked. Anyways. Might be interesting, might be a disaster. I don't know. Figure we'll give it a try. But I got him washed, so let's let him dry. Oh, I can't stop gushing over the uh, the Black Knight. Let's see here. Oh, that's what I need to do on those. Um, on these witches, I need to lighten up some of their hair.
an oil wash. Oof. I get nervous about trying new techniques. I realize that it's just like anything else. It's just learning a new skill, but... I know I'm always kind of rushing. And the idea of doing something that might slow me down kind of freaks me out. But I might have to have you just come and sit with me. Show me that. All right. Yeah. Gray hair is not really showing up that different, but you can see it up close and they just need a little something. And then I can call these done. And these are from Hellboy the board game, by the way. Um, After Vegas, I would have thought that I would have, like, nah, I don't want to do anything more with Hellboy for a while, but I actually really, really like the game. It is solid. Oop, that's a little too much paint. Yeesh. See, that's definitely one of my problems. I know I rush. And then weird things happen. Oh well. Alright, that's strange. Four witches... No issues doing any of the hair on those. And then suddenly I have problems. Whatever. All right. So set those off to the side. All right. Let's do a little bit on the harpies. very pleased to have a traditional St. Patrick's Day meal of a pollo fundido from some burros. It was amazing, as it always is. That is also one reason that I am not in bed trying to sleep. That's right. Harpy's got boobs.
It's not so much about being a heretic, Cliff. It's that we already decided we were doing traditional St. Patrick's dinner today. Which is why I said you'd let me know if I need to feed you. Although, in 30-something years, I've never asked your opinion on corned beef. We don't do cabbage, though, so if you like that, sorry, we don't. <laughs> But we also, when we were leaving Vegas, we went to the Bay. Okay. If for some reason any of you are ever in Vegas, go check out the Bagel Cafe. It's not on the strip, it's out yeah, about 20 minutes away from the strip. But it's a New York style deli. And they're just wonderful. Um, like, I'm I'm too lazy to uh, I'm too lazy to figure out a good like a good deli. A good Jewish deli. New York deli kind of place around me. Not saying there aren't any, just saying I'm too lazy to find them. But, um, let's be honest. I don't need all those carbs in my life. Anyways, so the Bagel Cafe in Vegas, anytime we go to Vegas, we make it a point to stop and get something. And like this time, it was while we were leaving, instead of just going south, we went west, went to the Bagel Cafe, and then went south. That's how much we like the Bagel Cafe. Um. Anyways, it was funny because we were, were checking out, and like the guy serving us is like, oh, do you need such and such? Oh, they were asking if they they if we needed utensils or if we were just going home. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah, we do need utensils. Uh, I mean, we're going home, but home is in Phoenix. And there was kind of this older guy. Looks like a boxer. You know, actually looks kind of like a Greek Italian boxer, you know, standing behind the counter. And, uh, and he's like, you have you have delis in Phoenix. I'm like, yeah, but we don't have the Bagel Cafe. And he just gets this grin on his face. Just kind of like, like not entirely, but kind of this Popeye looking grin on his face. And and I, I mentioned that, you know, for like the last 15 years, uh, anytime we go up to Vegas, we always make make it a point to go to the Bagel Cafe. And he just like, Gently puts his fist out, just kind of gets that Popeye grin and a grin on his face again. Um, and it was just, it was really funny. Anyways, but uh, while we were leaving, uh, it's like they've got like pictures all up on the wall of just like famous people, you know, boxers, things like that that have come through, uh, and and come to the restaurant and and I looked I'm like oh this guy's in those pictures I'm like I bet he's the owner and uh got home looked it up and yeah it was totally uh uh it was it was totally the owner of the bagel cafe um and anyways, so 
I was I was pretty happy about that. Gilbert and Pecos. Huh. I'm assuming behind the circle K. Um Yep, that's where I figured. Huh. I haven't I haven't looked. Like that's the weird thing. Going going north of that freeway is like really rare. <laughs> we used to live in the area. But Just, just don't go that way anymore. Usually we'll get on the freeway and head west or... Um, or just head east or, you know, never make it to the freeway. So, anyhow... Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> she is quite asleep, like nine o'clock comes and she almost always turns into a pumpkin. Sometimes I can get her to stay up a little later. But usually not. And technically, I'm not touching them. The brush is touching them. Anyhow. Um, do, 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 do. A, a guilty man's excuse. <laughs> there may be some truth to that. Um. All right. I feel like I am bouncing all over the place on this. I need to get back and do these, but I almost don't even remember what I did. Um, so now I'm a little frustrated and don't want to touch them. Uh, do, 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 do. Sorry, just plotting out my shorts videos. Um, hmm. All right, let's set that to the side. We will come back to it. Um, Figure out one for that. Um, all right. Which mech is this? I forget. 
And I don't have him in my list of mechs. I mean, I know I could look it up. I'm just being lazy, and I have people in chat who would know, so. Exterminator. Okay. Why don't I have an exterminator in my list? So... Let's do this. There we go. Um... got our exterminator page com guard com guard com star Ugh, gross Ugh. andre kerensky was a notable exterminator pilot Joined his brother on Stranomectian over the next 20 years, served in a variety of roles. His background as an instructor led him to being employed as Nicholas's eyes and ears among the newly formed clans. So they prepared for the return to the Pentagon. Uh, da, da, da. So, this is kind of Star League, but it's also Clan Wolf. And if... Andrea was the right arm of Nicholas in the founding of the clans, while often cite... While often was cited as the control rod on Nicholas's wilder ideas via serving him as his confidant and conscience. With Andrew's death, Nicholas was free to act unchecked, and some conspiracy theorists suggest Nicholas orchestrated his brother's death to have a free hand after Operation Klondike. So. served as a de facto leader in Operation Klondike. I mean, it's either Andery or do something Kongards, and Kongards is just white and more white and other white. And... Um... And I just want to do something different. Um... So it's Clan Wolf. Let's see here. Camo specs. Actions. Clan Wolf. Um. Red Keshek. Steel Keshek. Um, let's see here. 
Clan Wolf. What's their organization? Clan Wolf Tuman or Toman. Ooh, Omega Galaxy. Oh, didn't I do Omega Galaxy? Ah, it's more white. This is so frustrating sometimes. I mean, I realize this is completely like my fault. <laughs> um, the Dark Keshik. Oh, founded in 3063. Uh, so we need an early, early, early. Um, they don't have anything prior to 3052. That's frustrating. Eben Keshek. Well, not officially listed. The Ebon Keshek is a Keshek of black clad elementals that shares loyalty to all clans instead of one. So we can't do that. Because they are just elementals. No. No, uh, I mean, according to this, the Eben Keshek is a Keshek of black clad elementals that shares loyalty to all clans instead of one. The Keshek is responsible for guarding the sites of every blood chapel of the clans and controlling physical access to the Hall of Khans and the Grand Council. The Eben Keshek answers only to the Ilkhan and the Grand Council as a whole. An invitation to join this Keshek is rare, but is only given to elementals. Most of them see this as the high honor and respect the Eben Keshek as their accolades. So, no offense, I'm not sure where you're getting your information. <laughs> I mean, I like the idea, but... I don't uh... So, Andrea, I think, is the best choice for doing the guy, uh, for doing the mech. I just don't... I just don't know what unit to do. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Chameleon Light Polarization Shield is a battle mech stealth system developed by the Terran Hegemony in 2630 alongside the Null Sig system. That's true. Uh, it was never to... Okay. All right. Uh... It was never deployed in large numbers, appearing on only on one variant of the Exterminator used by the Star League Defense Royal Divisions. Uh, I think we've got... Yeah, I uh, I didn't want to do it, but I think it's too cool not to. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> this is this is what I get for turning the chat loose on my paint schemes <laughs> oh i absolutely love it um let's see here where are we there we go da, da, da. okay uh. <laughs> all right so all right we're gonna want A clean palette. Uh, nope, that's still too wet. Uh, I uh, I kind of hate you for this, Cliff. <laughs> kinda, but it is super cool. That's uh, all I've found that I don't like going for just a pure white. It just, it's a little too bright. But just a light mixture with some of this blue gray pale, I think works great. Oh. 
So, all right, I like your idea, Cliff, about doing half. Luckily, we can just run it right along that line. Um, and then, like, I'll leave, like, weapon systems. Like, I'll hit it with, like, a blackened steel or something. Um, but then from, like, the waist up, I'll do kind of, like, a sky blue. Um, maybe I will try dry brushing... Uh. Oh. So we've got that one, which is okay. That was just white. But I mean, they, they also, they cast that in resin. So it's a completely different way of doing it. Um, again, cast in resin. I like the black light. I'm not sure I see the one that you're talking about. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, so I think you're right, but. I actually want to demark it, um, you know, from left to right instead of top to bottom. Um, because then, so like the, I mean, it'll be the mech's right side. So this right here, I'll paint that in the comm guards white and then have the D mark down the middle. And then I can do sky and then tree line and stuff, you know, on the lower half. So a little different than, than what, what you had in mind. Um, but I think I think I like that a little bit better just because it'll well so first off it's gonna force me to do some crazier stuff um because I'm gonna have to do the sky and then the trees and all of that kind of stuff Um, I'm going to go ahead and just paint the whole thing this off white. Just because I'm going to be dealing with like the, the sky blue and whatnot. So. Uh, so, I mean, it'll be symmetrical in, in the split. Um, but then like, I want to run trees up the leg kind of into the, the waist, which that'll also be kind of interesting because I'll have to go instead of following the path of the leg, I'll just, um, like do it like it's 
you know, like the, the trees are going straight up and so then they'll kind of blend in here and then I'll do some sky up on the top half. I could like do little bits of tree coming in here onto the bottom of the arm. Uh, I am going to have to go full Bob Ross on this. Um, but I think I can do it. Anyhow. And for the name on the pilot, I'm just going to pick one out of the box or the, the cards. Yes. <laughs> Happy little exterminator hanging out in the happy little trees. Exactly. All right, let that dry a little bit and then we'll put a little bit more white on there. In the meantime, which I should get these out. Let's take a look here. Alright. So it's either going to be Alonzo Morgan. Probably Alonzo Morgan. Anyhow, all right. So I've got a name. Works for me. going to set the exterminator to the sad and uh, 
<laughs> there we go. All right, I think I think I can do Craig Yernberg. That and it's fun just to say the name Yernberg. All right, so let's start with. Let's start with green. Uh, I did. Uh, it's going to end up... Ah! Ah. I'm a mess. So yeah, there's my Phelan Kel. I'll have to. I have to do another one. That one's actually going to go to Chris. Um, and I've already got the other model. I just have to paint it. Um, because yeah, mine don't. Mine don't get bases. Um, I don't base them so that that way I don't have to worry about, you know, snow bases on desert terrain, which annoys me. So, but now we're going to see if I can pull off Black Watch Plaid. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Blackwatch Plaid is a Harvey Birdman reference, right? I mean, I realize it's also a thing, but... I remember it being referenced in the show for some reason.
<laughs> yeah, I I thought I I could have sworn it was that, but uh <laughs> Black Watch Vlad. <laughs> uh which uh I did find out tonight uh so or not tonight yesterday morning. So uh Gary Cole, who's been in many different things, um, is currently on NCIS and um, did the voice for Harvey Birdman, which means I have an, I, I really like Gary Cole and have an absolutely brand new level of respect <laughs> for the guy um oh harvey birdman that show is great uh, oh that's what i wanted to do um i want to Jewel these energy weapons. Um, yeah, he's done, he's done a bunch of stuff. I just didn't know that he was Harvey Birdman and I discovered that and it just made me laugh and, you know, kind of annoyed Kim a little bit, which I was kind of okay with, but, oh, uh, Harvey Birdman. Although I kind of have to say that Peanut sort of, sort of stole the show. So, first up, PPC. So, we're going to do blue. and cockpit so we're doing red
All right. Uh, All right. Good night, Clifford. Talk to you tomorrow. Or when we wake up. so ridiculously good all right
Struggling to concentrate. So, I think I am going to go ahead and call it. Steven, if you're still in the chat, um, I'll be back. Maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but, I think I'm going to call it here. I've gotten a lot of good things done. And I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm just gonna I'm just just gonna leave it as is, call it good. Uh, put up some witches for the mini showcase. Get an unboxing video recorded so that that's ready in the morning. Maybe a couple others. Anyways, um, yeah, pleasure to see you as well, Stephen. Um, I will, I will hit you up so that we can plan Thursday. Um, because we definitely need to plan Thursday. I, I do want to make that happen. Um, and we'll see. Maybe I can schedule some other uh, some other guests. So we'll go from there. Anyways, all right. For anyone watching, thank you very much. Don't forget, hit the like button on your way out. Uh, subscribe if you are new here. Uh, but otherwise, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And we will talk to you